Hey there, family. This is the Most High's House of Prayer, Praise, and Peace. Back again with more words from the Most High. That we may grow thereby. Hallelujah, family. How y'all doing? Glory to our Father's name. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Father. Thank you for this day. This is the day that the Most High has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in this day, family. Hallelujah. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. We're going to get right into this lesson. It's kind of a, we got a lot of reading here, but oh, family. By the grace of the Most High, you mm-hmm. will get this. You will understand this. And the Most High can just just give it to us all because we, we just got so excited when we were reading through this. Yes. But I, there y'all go again. Y'all trying to get me to keep on talking. Come on, family. But as you can see, the title here, Are We Praying Like This? Mm-hmm. Now, look at that. Listen, Powerful. just just Powerful. It's, it's so powerful, family. You know, we look at just uh, a while back we did a lesson we talked in a previous lesson about keep on praying family it was part of the encouragement uh, series that we were doing that we're still doing by the grace of the most high and if yes. you haven't heard that that's uh encourage it's uh keep on praying family encouragement it's series number two so that's that was one of the first ones we done it was number two but family we mm-hmm. still talking about praying we still yes, talking about always. you know pray always don't stop praying you know because the most high he is nigh yes don't stop praying because he'll he'll he, he cry. cry yes he he has promised and his word is, true. is true come on family hallelujah don't stop praying. he'll answer you he'll answer hallelujah. you we just gotta be persistent in this thing keep on bugging him being that, that importunate woman yes. she wouldn't stop don't stop don't, don't stop all y'all. right all right family there y'all go but mm. going into this and as the most high was talking and you read and you go back and family you all need to read this by the grace of the most high I encourage you to read that just talking about um um jehoshaphat and ahab and you know ahab was king of israel during the time you know during the time of the split and uh jehoshaphat was king of um of judah and at that time you know you you go back and you read and you see how ahab was acting ahab was a he was a straight up trip that that's i one of the best ways i can put it y'all y'all know you go back and you see what he's talking about and the things that he was doing and you know who he married he married that old woman come on now family mm-hmm. and, and she just strayed away but i'm not gonna get all into it. y'all go read it and you can see exactly what's going on but you you take what he was doing you know, Jehoshaphat was looking to, uh, you know, to get something from the Most High. And he was talking to Ahab. This was prior to this, to chapter 20 here. And, um, you know, Ahab was like, well, you know, I know somebody, you know, who can give us a word. If you're looking for an answer from the Most High, I know somebody. But, um, you know, his name is Micaiah. But the thing about it, I hate that guy <laughs> come on i mean he literally talking about he hate micaiah and the reason why he hated micaiah is because micaiah told him the straight up truth and in ahab didn't want it he didn't want no dealings with that he wanted to hear them fluffy words and words mm-hmm. that make him feel good because he got all up in his feelings if you will he like you know he ain't prophesying the good stuff to me you know he he telling me this and telling me that and, and micaiah basically was saying hey you know i I listen to the most high, whatever the most high tells me to speak. And he tells me to say, that's what I'm going to give you. Right. Ahab. So Hallelujah. don't, don't be fooling yeah. at me. Your problem is with the most high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and you I be- dare you. <laughs> He's like, I dare you to go up against him. (laughs) Go on, Bobby. You know, and and then then you think you hear the whole story and going back family. I'm family. Please go back and read it where where he said who going to go down and entice him. And then the angel talking about saying he going to be a lying spirit. Oh, he'll in his mm. mouth in the mouth. Oh, family, that that is that's a trip in of itself. But nevertheless, just giving you a little background as to when this prayer came forth. But we starting right here, family. You know, he um right here in Second Chronicles twenty. Go ahead, mommy. Then um 
20 and 1. 20 and 1? Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Excuse me. It came to pass after oop. then there came also there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, Come, there cometh there cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on the on this side Syria. And behold, they be in you all know we can't pronunciate every single <laughs> word in the book. Y'all forgive me. Um has a son of Tema. This is Ingadi. All right. Uh, and Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek Yahuwah and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Look at that family. He talking yeah. about it now. He, 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 he feared because they, they were talking about the multitude coming against him. Mm -hmm. And Judah gathered themselves together to seek the most high now look at what he's doing something had befallen him and he knew that you know things is about to act up so i i need to get down on my knees and i need to figure out what where when why or how and judah gathered themselves together to ask help of yahuwah even out of all the cities of judah they came to seek yahuwah and Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of Yahuwah before the new court and said, O Yahuwah, most high of our fathers, art not thou most high in heaven mm. and rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen and wow. in thine hand is there not power and might mm. so that none is able to withstand mm. the look Ooh. at that now he's bringing up the most high's record he, he, he's saying what you've been doing what you've done and what you're capable of yes. doing because because what's happening what i done heard got me a little bit going on on the got inside got me yes yeah yeah got him shook up showing mm -hmm. up go ahead mommy art not thou our most high who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel, and gavest it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever? Yeah. Yes. Come on, family. That's a beautiful, that's mm -hmm. a covenant. Come on, family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, mommy. And they dwelt therein, and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name, saying... If when evil cometh upon us as the sword, judgment and pe judgment or pestilence or famine, we stand before this house and in thy presence. For thy name is in this house and cry unto thee in our affliction. Then thou wilt hear and help. Now you hear that family. Here's what he's doing. He said, I know who to run to whenever I need somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know who to cry out to because, you know, mm -hmm. when things are coming up against me, I know there's nobody else I can call on mm -hmm. to get the help that I need to get the right help. Because some people can offer help, but they help don't actually help. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it hinders. Come yeah. on, family. Or delays. Or delay. Oh, same. mommy. But yeah, Ooh. it hinders, delays, and it just doesn't complete. It doesn't give a full, complete healing or deliverance. Hallelujah. You know that. That's what I'm talking about. That that is that's something right there, family. Uh, a lot of times we look to sometimes we look to ourselves 
And then when we get out of ourselves and the mm-hmm. most high reminds us of ourselves, then we go ahead and say, Father, you are the only one. And then sometimes even in between that time before we just go ahead and humble, we go ask mama, daddy, sister, granny. Hey, what about this? What about that? What about this? And the most high is all here along. Jehoshaphat said it when when the sword come up against us and pestilence and famines and all this thing that's going on. Father, we got to call on you, you because you were yes. here. and you are going to help us go ahead mommy Uh, verse 10 verse 10 20 and 10 okay and now behold the children of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who thou wouldest not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt but they turned from them and destroyed them not. Now that that right there, that's a mouthful, family. You got to You guys, I'm telling you, family, you got to go back and read what was going on and why yes. Jehoshaphat even said that. Mm-hmm. That's a bundle right there. Go ahead, mommy. Behold, I say how they reward us to come to cast us out of thy possession, which thou hast given us to inherit. O our Father Most High, wilt thou not judge them? Mm. Oh, for we have no might against this great company Mm -hmm. that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, Mm. but our eyes are upon thee. Oh, family to the Lee. Mm. Did you hear that? Oh, I need to say that one more good again time. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon upon thee. thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Knowing exactly. Yes, it is, mommy. Yes, it is. I mean, powerful talking about father, you, you, the judge, you, you know how to go in and you know how to come out because we see these great things in front of us. We see something like an insurmountable obstacle, if you will. The mountain is higher than we've ever seen it before. And we look at it and say, how on this green earth are we ever? ever able to make it past this point because mm-hmm. that's the biggest mountain I didn't see now wow. but he, he, Jehoshaphat laying it out in the prayer and saying father I, I, I don't know what to do because you are the almighty one but this is what I'm going to do I'm going to keep my eyes on, on you. you I'm going to watch what you do and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to look unto what the hills from whence cometh my help knowing yes. that my help, help cometh, cometh from, from you. you father hallelujah go ahead mommy and all Judah stood before Yahuwah with their little ones their wives and their children then upon Yahasiel, one of those words again, you guys. <laughs> Come on, family. <laughs> Y'all help me out now. The son of Zechariah, the son of Benayan, Benayan, the son of Jael, and the son of Matania, and Levite of the sons of Asaph, Asaph came the spirit of Yahuwah, in the midst of the congregation. And listen to what he said. Listen to this. Go ahead, mommy. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou king Jehoshaphat. Thus saith Yahuwah unto you, Be not afraid, nor dismayed, by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but the most high. Nah, family, we didn't hear that. Oh, hallelujah. Mm, That is powerful. That is uh, in of itself. We didn't hear that about 
2,873.7 times. But hallelujah, it does not get old, especially when we believe it and we apply it and know mm-hmm. it. Because the, the, what is he saying? The father, he speaks of his word in his word. He's talking about he ain't gave us the spirit of fear, no. or, but he's given us a, the, the spirit of power and love and of a sound mind. And he's talking about it ain't by power and it ain't by might, but it's by the father, by his spirit, father of host. Hallelujah. And family, there's a song that came out, uh, um, to Sister Tasha Cobbs. You know, I don't know who listened to it, but, you know, the most high has definitely mm-hmm. given her a gift yes. of singing. Yes. Hallelujah. And it's a wonderful gift. And this one particular song that she sang, she sang it with um, with Kiara Sheard, one of the Clock Sisters daughter. And it was t- t- talking about. You know, it, it 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 talks about a song of power. It ain't by power. It ain't by might. And in the way that they delivered this song, the way that the Most High allowed them to sing that song, it certainly encouraged me. Yes. And I'm like, Hallelujah! It ain't by mm. power. And them sisters sang yes, that song. That I mean, they beautiful. sang it and timely as well, because that was you know during the shutdown and things. But um, it was definitely absolutely encouraging. Hallelujah. Yes, it was certainly. It was a beautifully sang song, and then then what they put inside of it, you know. Yes. Not sometimes we can't just sit back, and sometimes we'll say some things, and we'll just say, "Oh, Father is good." Then other times, when you get down, and yes, we as humans, sometimes we can be very emotional. <laughs> Hallelujah, oh, family! Yeah. Come on, family! And sometimes we can get beside ourselves in that, but then there's other times when you allow the spirit to move on the inside of it. When yes. you let the spirit move on the inside of you, you gonna holler sometimes. You gonna praise and you gonna say it loud because we we are a lively people. We yeah. y- y'all know how Judah, we are. Come on, <laughs> it says it. Israel. Uh, we on. praise. We are the praise. We are the praise of the Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then somebody turned around and, and talking about the same song, talking about it said it's not my battle. It and it ain't my fight. Oh, come mm-hmm. on, family. Hallelujah. It's not. Can we say that? Can we really just believe that? Can we believe that in our spirits and in our minds and say, it ain't my battle and it ain't my fight? No. Can we walk away from something and say, Father, you are the author and finisher of our faith? So when these things have come up against me and I am doing my best to do your will and to walk into your spirit, you've allowed to walk in your spirit. You've allowed these things to come up against me. Yes. So if I listen and read your word, it's telling me it ain't my battle. It ain't my fight. So why am I putting my hands on this father? Because of this flesh, father. Oh, oh, father, forgive me. If it be your will, grant me repentance. Because I know the things that I want to put my hands on and it's everything that comes up against me Mm. everything in my life because this flesh always wants to get the glory so me as that human man when i don't allow the spirit to move and i'm not led by the spirit i touch taste and feel everything but when you bring it to my remembrance and you let me know hallelujah Hallelujah. and i can say it and then therefore father i believe but help thou my unbelief unbelief. yes help me to say it boldly father Mm -hmm. it ain't my battle and it ain't my fight because you told me it belongs to you and i got show me and teach me how to believe and to rest in what you said father hallelujah family that's what we gotta do we gotta stay in that constant prayer this this is that prayer that he's doing because listen jehoshaphat what did he say before he he said i gotta look to you i gotta see you so he got away from himself and knew that he couldn't do it because the battle was too huge and too big and too large for him so he got over himself and said father i can't do this you gotta do that right. hallelujah and Go you ahead. know honey and family um the same exact thing can apply in so many ways when Ooh. it comes to things like 
sicknesses, diseases, Thank um, you, even things that we know we have brought on upon ourselves by not eating right and exercising and doing the things that we know we should do. You know, this same thing can apply to those things. Yes. Um, once you give those, pray, fast, pray, repent, and acknowledge the most high and, you know, take those natural herbs as he leads and as he guides you. I am not, you know, a doctor or anything like that, but glory to Yah. You know, I we all have some knowledge of, you know, healthy ways that we can do things. But this thing applies to, oh, it's so universal. You all can apply this to whatever is going on in your life right now. Uh, you know, some are struggling and battling financially. You are struggling. Give that all these things over to our father. It's not our fight, you all. It's not our fight, family. This is the fight of our father. Let him, he, he let him get the victory. Don't, I mean, you know, le don't go seeking out a doctor and a special health care, you know, physician, this and that and that and this. Do it as the most high leads you. But first seek ye our father in his kingdom and all of his righteousness and all things shall be added unto us. This, these things that we go through are not our fight. It's not ours. It's the most high so he can get the glory. And victory belongs to us. Hallelujah. 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 Tomorrow, go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Hands let, off. Ooh, let me say that one more mm -hmm. good in time. Ye, Ye shall, shall not need, need to fight, fight in, in this, this battle. battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, mm. and see the, the salvation, salvation of, of Yahuwah. Yahuwah with <laughs> you. With you. Come mm. on, family. Mm. Oh, Judah and Jerusalem, mm, yeah. fear not. Don't be afraid. Nor be dismayed. No, or confounded. No, Tomorrow, no, no. go out against them. Yes. And Yahuwah will be with you. Hallelujah. Oh, family, family. He if, is with us. Yes, he is, family. If we could just read that every day. If we could just mm -hmm. ponder on that every day, if we could study that and memorize that. And before we start our day and I'm talking to me, too. Yes. Oh, come on, brother. Hallelujah. Get yourself together. Hallelujah. And listen to the spirit. And as the spirit leads you, brother, you better do it. Family, I'm talking. Oh, I'm talking by his grace and by his mercy. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. No. So many times, as we said before, we set our hands to things. And especially us as men, that's the most high put this inside of us. Oh, he allowed that spirit to be. We, we want to stand up and we want to be big and mad mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that we can handle each and everything that comes up against us because he set us as the ruler. Yes. of our house Mighty he says us, oh hallelujah as the ruler of our of the kingdom that he built he set us in charge of that and then what our mind and our flesh we get within ourselves then we have to remember who do we answer to we answer to the most high and it ain't our battle mm -hmm. sometimes yes we gonna have to put our hands up and sometimes we're going to have to just realize that, Father, you are the one who do who does everything. Yeah. We, we battle with the most high's word. What is his word saying? What has he revealed to you and showed you on how the how to handle your battle, how to handle things that are in front of you? A lot of times we just need to stand still. And see the salvation of Yahuwah, O Jerusalem. It says, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for Yahuwah will be with you. What is he telling us, family? He not saying go out and go find something and go pick a battle and go pick something with somebody. Hallelujah. Things are going to come. It's part of our test trials and tribulations and the things that we got to deal with while we're in this flesh and mm -hmm. while we're on this planet right now. 
but the most high has already given us the victory sometimes we do and we say it we got to push back that plate because what did jehoshaphat do in the very beginning he said wait a minute hold up wait a minute uh yeah, no more lamb for you and no more vegetables and leeks and honey and garlic put that away no more eating right now we're gonna mm -hmm. proclaim a fast because we got to get a hold to the most high yeah because even as mighty men of the most high we you all have to know when to stand down hallelujah mm. and just trust in our father hallelujah hallelujah that that is mommy you just you, you said a mouthful right there for sure you said a mouth full right Glory there to, yeah, because you know how I am. Oh, yes. Ooh. You know how I am. And, mm -hmm. and, and I've talked about this before and how the most high just I thank the most high for my helpmate Glory and how he just brought her to me, gave her to me. And sometimes when I just want to just be like, mm -hmm. he's he, he, he just put her in in my life allowed us to come together where she can just touch me a certain way Hallelujah! and look at me a certain way and is able to just kind of the most high uses her he speaks through her to where she can just like all right come on baby let's 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 mm -hmm. you you know what you need to do and it comes right down you know and, and even on dealing with the children Yes. You know, when when sometimes fathers, we can be uh, we can be uh, not that, that we uh, be, <laughs> we not, come out. we mm -hmm. not beating them or nothing like no. that. But we, we're quick no. to say, don't even try. It's that grit and that we we're trying, especially when you got boys, when you're raising boys into men, you, you also need that your wife, your helpmate mm -hmm. to come and just bring you up with a little softness. Not saying that you are soft, no. but it balances not, not things out. Yeah. It's that balance that the Most High has. He mm -hmm. set us in charge, but we can't rule with that iron fist because it's the Most High that is our ruler. And he does not rule us with an iron fist. He rules us with grace, mercy, and compassion. And then yes. he spanks our behinds when we need it. Mm -hmm. Come on, family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go Hallelujah. ahead, mommy. Um, 18, I think. No, 20. 20 and 10. Okay. I read. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, the Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in Yahuwah your father. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophets. So shall ye prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, mommy. And when he had consulted with the people, he, he appointed singers unto Yahuwah. And that should praise. And that should praise the beauty of holiness. As they went out before the army and to say, praise Yahuwah for his mercy endureth forever. Did Hallelujah. you see that family? Hallelujah. He pointed singers. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you family, if you heard any of the messages before, you know, I talked about how I wish I could sing, but I know I can't sing, mm -hmm. but I can make it My joyful. Has, you know? He has a, he got some pipes. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> yeah, as a, make Hallelujah. a joyful noise yeah, unto the that most high. Noise. That's what I'm talking about. And he appointed some singers. So again, us being Judah, us being that praise, yeah. praising him in the the beauty of holiness, holiness. opening Hallelujah. up our mouths and yes. saying thank you father Hallelujah. and singing glorious unto him and telling him father your mercy endureth forever mm. oh if it be your will father continue to have mercy on us and we we don't want to take advantage of it even though we do it every single day even though we take full advantage of that mercy, but Father, mm. forgive us yes, yes. when we just working up against that. But nevertheless, Father, and you said right here, and when they began mm. to sing and to praise, praise, Yahuwah set ambushment against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, mm. which were come against Judah, and they were it's smitten. Mm. Oh, what Look a there, blessing! 
Look at how the Most High handled that. No weapon. No weapon. Oh, that's it, mommy. Hallelujah. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. No. And every tongue that rise against me in judgment, Yahuwah shall condemn. We got to remind ourselves of what his word is saying. We have yes. to repeat it over and over and over again. Hallelujah. Are we praying like our brother Jehoshaphat? Mm. Are we seeking the most high saying, Father, I know I can't do this. I know this ain't my battle, even though I'm putting my hands in everything. Show me how to stop putting my hands on something that's you already told me that you going to handle. You already said, I don't have need to fight in this thing. You've already given us the victory and you're going to do it at your set time. Oh, father, father, don't don't give me that spirit to where I'm not trying to rush you, even though it's hurting and it's paining right now. Mm. But let me set myself and be content of the things that you've done and the things that you have us in. Hallelujah. Show me how to continue to continue to seek you and to love on you, family. We we love you, family. Yes, we love you. Hallelujah. All, family. Hallelujah. Go ahead and just, you know, are we praying like this? We just want to encourage you one more good getting time, family. Yes. We love you and we praying for you. Hallelujah. And if you are enjoying the Most High's House of Prayer, give y'all the glory and remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We love you all, family. Stay encouraged. Hallelujah.